Hey guys, it's Mary Taylor Dade. I'm coming to you real quick. Uh, the Lord put on my heart to do a video real quick. And the first thing I'm going to say is this. Declare and decree to part the Red Sea. How many of us have been told by God this season that restoration was coming, that change was coming, that um, authority was changing, different things. I'm not going to talk about politics. We're just going to talk about, listen, God is in control. How many of us are standing literally like I saw a vision and it's like Moses had enough faith in God to use his staff and trust that God would part the Red Sea. Why do we have such little faith that we're standing there looking at the Red Sea like, uh, and we're looking back at our enemies like, oh my gosh, 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 look at all this, look at all this, like, God, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Oh, ye of little faith, will we trust God to be God? If God has said restoration in your marriage is coming, now is the time to declare and decree it into existence. I had a vision of Jesus before I had um, restoration in my marriage. And my vision that I had was I literally saw Jesus and he was standing in front of me and he put his hands out and he said, beloved, trust me. And he said, I need you this season to have walk on water faith. And as I looked at Jesus, I started walking onto the water with Jesus. But all around me in the carnal, it did not look like restoration. It did not know, it did not look like God was on the throne. It did not look like God knew what he was talking about. It did not look like God knew what he was doing. But it was the fact that God, I trust you. I know that you would not tell me to have walk on water faith and you would not tell me to trust you if you weren't gonna come through. Like, I know you got me. God is asking us, will you rise up and trust him? For those people out there that are apologizing for what they said was wrong and that I guess this uh, situation isn't going to be that way. Man, ye, oh ye of little faith, trust God. Because if God is telling you something is going to happen or that person's going to get the uh, that office or your marriage is going to get restored or things in your life are about to change, understand when you look behind you, yeah, Pharaoh's not happy. Pharaoh's not happy at all. Like He's going to try to come after God's people. But God is saying, if my people will just have faith in me, if my people will just trust me, declare and decree and have the faith that Moses did to part the Red Sea. Because God is right in front. Man, he is waiting. He is literally waiting for us to declare and decree. And he is going to part the Red Sea. And we are going to walk into freedom. The chains are going to be broken. The bondage that we live in, y'all, that you don't even realize about, that God knows about, he wants to set us free from. But we have to come out of agreement with fear and we have to put our alignment with faith that God is who God says he is. I don't care what man has to say to me right now. I know what God says to me and I trust the God I serve. And I know that God is about to part the Red Sea. I know the restoration of marriage is happening. I know pro Radicals are coming home. I know that God is going to pour out revival in this land. I know that God is a God of keeping his word. And God is a God of abundance. And God is a God of order. It is time to rise up and take your authority as the sons and daughters of the king. You have authority. Stand outside your home like the blood of the lamb on the doors. Anoint your doors and say, in the name of Jesus, I am covered by the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against my family shall prosper. Nothing can touch me. Nothing can harm me because my God is for me. My God is not against me. My God loves me. My God protects me. Guys, we are right there at the Red Sea. Get your hand out. Our faith is going to be our staff. And our staff and our faith is going to part the Red Sea. Declare and decree to part the Red Sea. God is waiting and God is watching to see those who really have faith in him or who those who talk about it. I didn't talk about the faith I had. I declared and decreed restoration in my marriage. Even though I saw relapsing and I saw addictions and I saw afflictions and I saw deception and I saw pain, I trusted the God I serve. And I knew that my daddy God was not going to let me down. Down. And that's why I have restoration in my marriage. Nothing I did, but it's the faith in God that brought me 
my fruit of restoration. God has restoration for all of you. God is wanting to bless all of you. He, you. We are his people. God loves us. But will you trust him? Will you trust him? It's not about what you see. It's not about what you feel. It's not about what you think. It's about who you believe in. It's about what you believe in. Right now, God is testing all of us. And those who stand in faith will be walking past that Red Sea into the promised land. But those who do not have that faith are going to watch everybody else walk across that Red Sea into the promised land. And God is watching right now. It's not a warning, so don't take it as a warning. It's a declaration. It's confirmation. It's understanding that God is the God we serve. And God has not forgotten you. God has not abandoned you. God loves you. He has heard every prayer that you have had. He has kept every prayer. He has heard every prayer. He has accounted for every tear and all pain that Satan stole. And God is going to make Satan pay us back a thousandth fold. But will you trust God to be God? This is about walking by faith. Okay, this is the season where to part the Red Sea in front of us, we need to declare and decree that it's going to be. We need to declare and decree what God is calling this to, this nation to. We need to call and declare and decree what God is calling so it can become that. Because it's by our faith that the sea is going to part. No other way. I didn't have restoration in my marriage. I kid you not until I literally started declaring and decreeing every day. I declare and decree a restored marriage. I declare and decree God is the God of order. I declare and decree no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Now is the time to stand in your authority as the daughter and son of the king. Trust God to be God. Yes, you heard God's voice. Yes, God has restoration. Yes, God has promise. Yes, God has miracles. Yes, God is a God of abundance. It's not punishment. It's preparation for promotion. Trust God. It is time. Things are aligning, but a sifting had to take place. A shifting is happening after a sifting, and now a realigning is going on. God's trying to give us a new wineskin, y'all. Let let go. Go back to the word. Go back to the word. What does it say about Moses? What are all, how how many people actually ended up not following Moses to the Red Sea? They gave up. They gave up. How many of us have seen COVID and been like, man, all right. I guess we'll just take this vaccine. I guess we'll just take this. We'll just do what we need to do. We'll just follow and bow. We'll, we'll bow a knee. We'll bow a knee. It's not about bowing a knee right now. It's will you trust God to be God? Pharaoh did not want to let God's people go. He didn't. But he had no choice because God is the God we serve. And I am so thankful to be God's child because I know my daddy God has me. He's got you. You've got to trust him right now. Repent. If anything in, he, in this video is causing you to feel convicted, like, you know what, God? I haven't had that faith in you. I haven't had that trust in you. I repent right now, God, for not having that faith in you, for not having that trust in you. God, give me that faith. God, I ask you to give me that faith. I ask you to strengthen my faith, strengthen my walk. Because God is going to be with you. He's for you. He's not against you. He loves you. Repent. Get back under his wing and trust him because it's about to go down and we're about to see revival and we're about to see the greatest move of God that we have ever seen in our entire lives. And I am honored to be his daughter and I am honored to be a hollow, a hollow vessel for him. And I am honored to be here because I know the God we serve is amazing, incredible, merciful, graceful. He is a good God. He is a good God and he loves you and he trusts you and he's ready. He is ready. He is pouring his blessings out upon you. Walk on water. Close your eyes and say right now, God, I trust you. God, I trust you. Help me to have walk on water faith. Help me to have faith like Moses to part the Red Sea. God, give me that faith. Create in me that boldness. I declare and decree boldness and courageous. I declare and decree that voices that have been broken or that have been shackled or that have been held in bondage from Satan, I break off that bondage right now. I break off that demonic muzzle right now. Rise up as the warriors you are. Rise up and be the lion God called you to be. Rise up and be the lioness that God called you to be. You have the authority. We are the remnant. Rise up and stand in truth.
and in God's love. Because now is the time, y'all. It's amazing what God is about to do. Stand, declare and decree, get the word playing, have the audio Bible playing when you sleep at night. Declare and decree it. What God is calling this nation to do is declare and decree, and by our faith, our faith will be a staff, and it's going to part the Red Sea. And we're going to see the greatest move of God in our entire life. But he's waiting for us to have that faith. Stand up, repent, let go of the fear, and walk by faith. Because God is with you. Jesus is coming. It is amazing. The armies are coming. The angels have been released. We are not alone, y'all. We are not alone. God is with us right now. Just trust him. Walk out on that water with Jesus. He's got you. He's got your family. He created you. He created you not to destroy you, to love you, to have communication, to have relationship with you. God is for you. He's not against you. So I, st I ask you guys, just please, I just, I feel God's heart and it's like, where are my people? Where are my people? Where are my sons and daughters who will believe in me? Who will believe me to be what I've said that I'm going to do? If I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. That's the God we serve. He is not full of deception. He is full of redemption. So I did not expect this video to be that long, but God had his way. And Holy Spirit, we just love you and we just praise you, Father God. And we just declare and decree that we are going to part the Red Sea, Father God. We declare and decree an impartation that we are going to have faith with boldness and confidence and courage. And we are going to be the Elijahs and the Daniels and the Davids and the Esthers. We are going to rise up like the remnant that we are called to be. And we are going to have the faith that God is calling us to have and to walk in to part the Red Sea. Amen. Have a wonderful night, y'all. God is with us. Declare and decree. It's coming. Amen.